What's up, YouTube? We're back with another video. Uh, back with another story time. This book is called The Bearstein Bears in the Homework Hassle. Someone look mad. Mama looking like, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. It looks like he's supposed to be doing his homework, but he's on the phone. He listening to music. He has some junk right there, some snacks, and he his homework right there. He ain't did it. His parents are like, hmm. You gonna get in trouble? You gonna get in trouble for not doing his homework? And he got popcorn on the TV. Alright, y'all. We about to get into the video. If you're not subscribed, go on and hit that subscribe button. If you're subscribed, thanks for tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Uh, uh, if anybody don't have any notifications on, uh, go on and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any videos we drop. Or story times or vlogs or whatever. And yes, let's get into the video. That's his sister right there. She's like, uh-oh, big brother, you in trouble. Let's, let's see what it's about. Let's turn the page. You do, do. Mm. Hmm. Alright, let me read this page. Mama was sitting in her favorite chair. It's the mama. Straightening up her sewing basket. When she sniffled the air and said, What's that funny smell? Uh-oh. That's the papa. That's dada. It's daddy. Let's see. Papa looked up from the evening paper and sampled the air. Hmm, he said. I smell it too. It smells like garbage, Duh. said Mama. It smells like garbage. Papa sniffled again. Now where do you suppose? He thinking, he thinking. i tell you where I suppose, said Mama. Who had put aside her sewing basket and sniffled around the room? It's coming from brother's backpack. <gasps> What's in that backpack? Maybe. The smell is coming from his book bag. Mmm, you see. And sure enough, it was. There was an... Hmm? Uh-oh, he got... Ooh, we got um old food in his book bag? Let's see. There was an old banana peel, a brown apple core, and a moldy piece of bread. Yes, ill. No. Yucky. In brother's backpack. So you got a rotten, it's a rotten piece of bread, an old apple, and an old banana. No, no. No, no. All right, let's see. But that wasn't all that was in brother's backpack. Among the books and papers was a letter. Mama, what's man. That? Hmm, what's that letter about? Daddy. It was old and wrinkled, and it was from his teacher. Mama read it. You're mad. Oh, she found a letter in his book bag. I wonder what it say. Let's see. His daddy's reading it. Then she passed it to Papa. After Papa read it, he looked across the table at Brother, who was doing his homework. Uh oh, I wonder what that letter said, because he looked angry. He was already mad because he smelled that stinky smell in his book bag, but now he's super mad. Mm. Oh, something ain't right. Let's read. At least he was supposed to be doing his homework, and maybe he was, but it was hard to tell by looking at him. It don't look like he's doing his homework. He had a card table set up in front of the television that was showing his favorite program, The Bear St Stoogs. Hmm? He was listening to his boombox and talking into a cell phone at the same time. Hmm? Mm -hmm. There was a game bear and a bowl of popcorn on the TV. And oh yes, there were some school books and paper and pencils too. He in trouble. Let's see. Excuse me, young sir, said Papa. Is this the Mars space station? I'll get back to you, Fred, said brother. He telling his friend he get back to him. He got to hang up the phone. Now his daddy angry. You're not reading much of anything according to this letter from your teacher. You may as well have been on Mars for all the attention you've been paying to. Your homework Mama. lately, said Papa. You're mad. Yep, mad. Yeah. He ain't been doing what he's supposed to do. Letter. What letter? Asked Brother. 
This old wrinkle letter that Mama found in your backpack, said Papa. The letter may have been old and wrinkled, but its, me um, but its message was clear. Uh oh, let's see what it says. Let me see. I'm going to see if I read it. Dear parent, I regret to report that Brother Bear was falling too far behind all in his homework. Please call me. Yours truly, Teacher Bob. Uh-oh. So his teacher told on him. Tell him when he was doing his homework. Hmm. Yep, he wasn't doing his homework. In my backpack, said brother, <coughs> I thought my backpack was private. When something starts to smell like garbage, said mama, it isn't private anymore. They had to check it out. You dog. Mm-hmm. Dog. Sister Bear couldn't resist putting her two cents in. I don't see how you expect brother to keep up with his homework. He has on, he has so many more interesting things to do. Yeah, There's soccer, basketball. Yeah, the daddy is mad and the mama. Hold on. There's soccer, basketball, video games going around like a big shoot. Yeah, big shot. And girls. Yeah, brother turned on sister. Why you little... Uh-oh, he get mad at his sister. She telling it. That will be quite enough, sister, said Papa. Why don't you go do your own homework? <laughs> it's all done, said sister. See? You call those scribbles homework? You little twerp. Shout it, brother. Oh, now, look, I'm going to say how he said it. Look, he said this. You call those scribbles homework, you little twerp? Shout it, brother. Now, said Mama, let's everyone calm down and try to figure out what the problem is. The problem is Big Brother ain't doing his work, and Little Sister, she's just bragging about the work that she did in her book. Mm. <clears throat> I tell you what the problem is. The problem is too much homework. Vocabulary homework, arithmetic homework, science homework. It's homework, homework, homework. Every subject, every day, till it's coming out of my ears. Oh, the brother mad. Look, he's talking about homework, homework, homework. It's too much homework. He tired of doing homework. But you got to do your homework. Got to do it. Uh-oh, said Papa. Tell me, son, what is your homework for today? Adding and subtracting fractions and memorizing two stanza, stack, stanzas of the bear stew on the burning deck. That really doesn't seem like too much homework to me, son, said Papa. Brother slumped and stared at the bear stooges, who were busy hitting one another on the head. I'm not hearing any sort of explanation, said Papa. I guess that's because tonight's homework isn't really the problem. The problem is you the problem is that you haven't been handing handing in your homework on a daily basis. You haven't been taking care of business. You've been falling behind. Gee, what's going to happen? asked brother as the living room phone rung. Rang. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, I guess. I wonder who that calling. Ring, 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 ring. It's the BRS, said Mama. For you, Papa. Take their number and I'll call them back, said Papa. What's the BRS, Mama? Asked Sister. It's the Bears Revenue Service. Like the IRS. <laughs> said Mama. They collect taxes. What's going to happen, said Papa? It's is that there's not is that there's not going to be any more Mars space station? No more boom box, no more popcorn. It's just you and your homework until you're all caught up. But he's still going he's still arguing with the son. Tell him to do his homework. But that'll take forever, my own brother. Nevertheless, said Papa. You just don't understand, said brother. Heading for the door, he's mad. Where are you going, asked Mama. 
I'm just going for a walk, said brother. As often hap as often happened when brother had a problem and went for a walk, his feet led him to Gramps and Grants, just down the road. Gramps and Gran could tell brother was in trouble as soon as they opened the door. After some milk and cookies, brother told them the whole miserable story. The tele the teletale letter, the miss Assignments, the no television, the no video games, the no anything until he caught up. And he was so far behind that he'd never catch up. <laughs> well, I was trying to talk like the Gramps. Oh, you'll catch up, said Gramps. Your father did. Huh, said brother? Same thing happened with your dad. When he was your age, said Gramps. Of course. There was no television then. No television, said brother. Wow. That would have been like really being, being on Mars. We had radio, continued Gramps. We still have it, of course. But radio was like television then. It had great stories every evening. There was a western called Bear Smoke and Buck Brooms. In the 2050. In the 2050 century, was sort of like Bear Sh Shrek is now. And your dad listened to them while he did his homework. And he was big on sports, just as you were. So he fell further and further behind. I clamped down on him, just the way he's clamping down on you. Alright, let's turn the page. Gee, thought brother, Papa does understand. The thought that he'd gone through it all himself made brother feel a little bit better. A stranger was meeting Papa when brother got home. He's from the BRS, said sister. It has something to do with taxes. It looks like Papa hasn't been taking care of business either. Alright, the stranger was about to leave. We'll be glad to give you a little more time. But you're going to have to catch up, he said as he left. Uh, he telling Papa to catch up. The brother got to catch up on his homework, and Papa got to catch up on his taxes. <laughs> and that's how it worked out. Brother sat on one side of the ta the card table, and Papa sat on the other side. It was a good lesson for both of them. And yes, it was. A little while the mama and the sister chilling, the brother and the dad got to catch up on some work. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Bear Theme Bears in the Homework Hassle. This was a good book. If y'all enjoyed this video, give it a like. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Thank y'all for tuning in if you are subscribed. And yes, stay tuned for more. Peace.